Hey guys, the chicken is here back today with another Boom Beach, this way, Boom Beach video. Uh, in today's video, guys, we made it up to rank 23, so things have been working out pretty well for us. We're going to go over what you need to get in terms of tech, all that good stuff. Guys, if you haven't already, appreciate if you subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to use that code chicken in the shop. And uh, if you want to win any of the cool stuff, whoa, way back here. Anything on the shelf, pretty much, except for the Warships uh, Season 0, Global Number 1. Trophy, which is in the possession of the chicken. Um, all you gotta do is become a channel member and then you get instant access into the giveaways and you have yourself a chance to win something cool. So, um, this is where we're at, guys, and it's been going pretty well. So, as you can see, we got the building health, we got the building damage, we got troop health, and we have zero troop damage. So, um, let's take a look forward here. We're actually about to unlock critter launchers, but uh, I know I said yesterday that going the bottom path after six doesn't really make sense. I think I would still say that for most people, unless you've taken the same exact path as me, where I had a lot of defense, so it kind of made more sense. Plus, the building health was right there. It was like it was just right within my grasp, but I just couldn't. I couldn't pass on it. I couldn't pass on it. So we're gonna unlock ourselves some critter launchers, whether we win or lose this one. Um, hopefully we don't face a base like mine where I can't clear it. That's really the trade-off. So when I face bases like mine, I lose because I cannot clear them whatsoever. Um, when I face bases that are spread with a bunch of troop damage and troop health, um, typically we beat them. Sometimes we lose if they're all out troop health and they do a really nice, uh, troop damage like this guy right here and they have a, um, um, b -b -b a really nice attack, but... There's some things that we can do to make it easier. So we're going to go one, one, two, one, two. Uh, I wanted to throw two over here. And we're going to go one, two, three on the bottom. And typically what I like to do, now this guy doesn't have any critter launchers. Um, he does have 80% building health, so I think we're just going to hold for a second. Uh, let's throw Kavan out here. Because this side's a little bit dirtier than the bottom. Oh, he does have critter launcher. I just didn't even realize. Um, we're going to go from this side. Let's... Um, okay, we don't need... Actually, we do need... Let's go barrage over here. We do have critters now, which help. Not tremendously, but they do help. Um, especially on little things like that we can get. Now, this is perfect on this side. Critter launcher's not going to hit any of the... Uh, bombardiers, they will totally outrange it, making it useless. Uh, that was a mistake. Look at all the critter launchers that built up around my critters. Not ideal, not ideal. Um, but that's okay. So, I think the idea here is we got to get them out of this corner. The bombardiers love to fall down around there. As you can see, they're almost all dead. Um, and then we can bring these guys way up here, because there's no need for them to be down there. And let's just see. Let's just see. We gotta uh, we gotta farm some second wins here. That's gonna be our key. Um, but as you can see, with the extra troop damage, if he does get a really good hit in on us, then yes, he's got that uh, he's got that chance to beat us. Um, so hopefully that doesn't end up being the case. Let's go ahead and take down this boot, uh, doom cannon. Um, he's got us down to two. That's not really good. Typically, if they get us down to two at this point, then that's GG's. Um, but with 80 troop health and 160 troop damage, that's going to be... That was our downfall today. That's why I wasn't able to push up any higher, because we were running into that. Maxed offensive guys were able to uh, get through the base. So those were just kind of auto losses for us, unfortunately. Um, and we don't have enough barrage here to get through. Just kind of stuck with what we got. Um, I mean, we can still hope for a fizzle, but the way he was blitzing through the base, I don't think so. <gasps> Guys, yes, let's go, let's go. Now that never happens. Typically when I get a retreat with one ER left, just from what I've been running today, <clears throat> that has been definitely under a minute is where that happens. It does not happen that early. I don't know if that's people force closing or doing something weird or whatever, but, uh, but there we go, there we go. So that guy, that's interesting because that guy had max offense, max offense. So... Max offense, it's all about the stats this season, right? 
You can go balanced. You can go max offense. You can go max defense. I found max offense versus max defense to be kind of a 50-50. And I find balance to be losing more um, to the either one or the other max defense or max offense, depending on what you have. Um, So let's unlock the critter launchers next and see what we got. Um, Because we definitely got enough keys. We got enough tokens. And we want to get to those freaking heavy choppers sooner and later, which we'll actually get in our next chest, which is pretty cool. Um, so I don't know where we're going to put these. Where do you guys think they should go? Um, let's go maybe... Do, 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 do. Maybe one like here. Um, I'll throw them down just like this, just to move stuff out of the way. Um, one over there. And let's go... One back here with the doomy. Beautiful. I like that setup. That looks okay. Um, okay. Yeah, that looks all right. Let's try it. Let's see if the crater launchers help or not. They should help. They should help. Now, I found the mechs that we talked about yesterday. Uh, they're actually very useful against the crater launchers because they shoot them um, quickly enough where they can stun them completely. And as long as there's not either a grappler that's feeding all of the critter launchers, which can be very annoying, um, then usually we have enough juice to get through them. Um, now, I'm going to do something different here. I got one, two, three. I didn't look at the stats. I forgot to look at the stats. I wish the stats still displayed on the screen once the attack went, because sometimes you read it and then you forget, um, and it is very helpful to know for the attack um, what he's got. So I think what we'll do here, now this guy's got shock launchers, he's got critter launchers. My guess is since he's got shocks, he's probably gone defensive. Um, we can actually find if his build, building health fairly quickly here, just by tapping that guy with the uh, barrage. Uh, okay, so he's got a lot of building health because we're barely able to take that critter launcher down with two barrage. With no building health, um, we're not able to take it down at all. Um, or sorry, we're almost able to take it down with one. Um, so yeah, he's got, uh, he's got some D, he's got some D. So we can take down one engine, get some percentage. I think we're going to call that a win, but let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Depends how much, uh, offensive stuff he's got. This is where the balance comes in because it's like, okay, if you have a lot of defense, but like enough offense to, to get through a really dirty base, then maybe that's an advantage. It's really dependent, and it, it's you can't say there's one size that fits all. It really depends on your tech tree and what you've unlocked. If you skipped any defenses, and you've unlocked troops that are really good, like Laser Rangers or Seekers or something like that, then yeah, it probably makes more sense to go offense, but um, it depends. It depends. Let's go... Let's go Seeker over here. Med kit there. And I'm kind of wanting to just flare this one, guys, is what I'm thinking. Um, Because we are going to fizzle here in just a moment's time. So we can get a little bit early onto that engine, maybe get two of them. That would be nice. Okay, okay, now we're just going for chip and dip. Get those stupid critter launchers out of there. He's got us, he got one, he got one. Okay. Uh Uh-oh, he got two, guys. That's not good. All right, we'll see if we can uh, hang on here. If he gets to three, then I think that's going to be that. Let's flare it. Oh, he got us to three. I don't think we're going to be able to get on that engine with uh, without... I don't know what happened there. I don't know what happened there. He had a lot of D, and he was able to, uh, to make the offense work. I think the difference might have been um, he has shock launchers, so he probably has shock bombs. And my base is kind of clustered, so shock bombs might be the ticket. They might be the way out of this mess. Um, but we'll see. We'll try to free clear a little bit. I'm hoping for that retreated sign sooner than later. We might actually get this engine. I don't know. It doesn't matter. He's got a one. We're certainly not getting that far. Um, interesting. I was not expecting one more engine. So, I mean, it goes to show that even without offensive statues, you can get pretty deep into most of these bases. So, Ugh. All right, let's flare him up here. 
Walk of shame, fellas. Walk of shame. Raiding right that Doom Cannon. Raiding right that cannon. Come on, Doom Cannon ended for us. There we go. So, ouch. That one hurt a little bit. Mr. Hurricane. He's a good player. I've seen him pretty high up there. Let's see what he did real quick. I am interested to see. Everspark, Heavy Chopper, Bombardier. Okay. So he had Shock Launchers and Heavy Choppers. And the same stats, but just in a different order. So this is probably more late game what we're going to see. He doesn't have come on. Which doesn't... How do you have Bombardiers without come on? Or he's just using Everspark instead. Maybe because he doesn't have any GBE. Maybe that's the workaround is Everspark. Interesting. We're going to have a lot of heroes this season. A lot of hero options. Wow, okay. So heavies. He didn't have Shock Bomb. Didn't look like... I mean, he didn't, if he did have it, he didn't use any. Hmm. Interesting. Now, that's the frustrating part about the season, is I find that sometimes you get a matchup like that, where it's the guy just, like, perfectly counters you. So, kind of annoying, but uh, it is what it is. Anyways, made it into rank 23, global top, uh, close to the top 100 today, I think. Uh, definitely top 150. Um, but there's still lots of time left, lots of time left in the season, guys. If you're not crushing it just yet, don't worry. Your push point is coming. So I hope that helps you guys out. As always, thanks so much for watching. That is going to wrap up the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. Catch you next one, guys. Check it out. Bang, bang.